began working for Banbury Township in 1994. I believe it was in 1995, the PCB permit for EQ came up. And that was the department I was working in. It was our job to do research. I went to the state of Michigan and went through files, literally, that they would, we had FOIA from the state, that they were pulling up that there were this high of documents and documents and documents and documents. And the, the task of going through that just to see accountability, government and accountability, um, and also to see where does my voice count. And I think the township did an excellent job when we had that um, the forum at Belva High School and we sponsored an opportunity for people to have their voices heard. And it shifted the way that the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality, I don't know if it was a DNR at that time still, maybe not, but, it, but the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality started listening to people. And I was really empowered by that. And I also, when I began working for Van Buren in public schools, they were looking at taking away some funding that they had already told us that we had earned for an educational program over the summer that was very important to our kids who were falling behind. I went to my senator and I said, you know, we need this funding. We've already hired our staff. We've already purchased the supplies. And this ended up being something that a lot of communities were going to lose. And that those school districts were going to use and lose. And he stood up for that and he stopped that from happening. So I've seen elected officials who are accountable, who act in the best interest of, of their constituents and who who answer to the people. And I was so inspired by that, people <coughs> said, no, I'm not doing it. And then it, I, it came down to, oh my gosh, I get it. It's time for me to stop making excuses. I'm, it's actually time for me to step up and do it. And I am passionate that we all have a voice. I am passionate that I hear what you have to say. I am proud of the fact that I'm not asking for any contributions or endorsements from any political action committees or any political parties because I want you to know when you vote for me, if you vote for me, I'm re going to represent you. And um, actually, I don't know if I'm saying anything that I thought I would have said, but um, I've just been raised to stand up to do what's right, and I am proud that I say that I do that. Um, I think it's important that you know that the same way that I would represent the people in the community, I would also be as clerk responsible for, uh, I believe, at least a, one party of uh, union contracts. When I worked for the township, the only way we had union meetings was if an attorney was present. That isn't that actually necessary, and it actually isn't always standard practice that you can have dialogue without spending money on attorneys. Uh, I don't know if that would be the case initially starting. I can tell you that's what I'm committed to, and that's that's. My commitment is that the dialogue with the unions. Um, our employees are so valuable. Most of them I actually still know from when I was working there in 1994. So I guess that's all I have to say. I look forward to serving you if uh, you'll vote for me, and that would, that date would magic date would be Tuesday, August 7th. Thank you.